Dylan Mulvaney, the man who pretends to be a girl on social media, has gone corporate. He's now shilling an ad for Instacart. Note to self, never use Instacart again. Uh, And in this advertisement for Instacart, I think he accidentally shows you what lies at the heart of basically all of our modern political problems. Instacart that y'all can shop to get my dream sleepover experience. Speaking of, my order is here. I have the delivery. First things first, skincare. And I'm warning you beforehand, I eat mostly junk food, but we're having a sleepover, so it's allowed. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. I still have room in my dessert stomach, so we're having ice cream. I think we start with prank calls and then put a finger down. Then we'll go around and manifest all of our dreams and goals for the rest of the year. Then a rom-com and then we can paint our nails and we're going to stay up all night long. Visit the link in my bio to shop Dylan Sleepover Essentials via Instacart now. So everybody's focusing on one that this guy's now got a corporate sponsorship. That's the That's one level of analysis. Or they'll focus on this guy, he's just doing a caricature of, of, you know, a sort of 90s sitcom gay man or a ridiculous cartoon of what men think women are like. And it's just, that's so offensive. And he's wearing women's face. And this is, okay, that's another level of analysis. That's not what caught my attention. One word caught my attention in that video. Manifest. Did you hear that? In between the popcorn and the rom-com, and it, he said, we're going to manifest our futures together. We're going to manifest our destinies, and then we're going to do, 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 do. Or manifest our, not manifest destiny. That would be pretty cool, actually. Uh, you know, we're going to manifest our dreams and desires. That word manifest is a, the language of new age occultism. It's a, it's a very weird kind of demonic idea that you can make yourself into a sort of a God and make demands on God himself and demands on the entire universe and that it will just happen. This is what you see in the, that book, The Secret, and in a lots of kind of weird, new agey, self-help, Oprah kind of stuff, is this idea that you're really a divine, you're the divine spirit. And if you just, if you just believe enough in your own power and the power of your your consciousness and your energy, you can make the universe do whatever you want. And it's, it's a cult and it's demonic. And it, it made me realize, oh, you know what all of this is about? You know what all of this is about? It's not about the second wave feminists. And it's not about the rise of this particular ideology at this particular time. It's not about, you know, the, the, the critical theory department of the, you know, it's, you know what it's about? It's, it's because people aren't getting baptized. That's why I know, I know Media Matters is going to clip this out. Good. I hope you do clip this out because I want people to hear this. Why is all, why is the world getting so insane right now? I think once you get past all the layers of the economic analysis and the political ideological, you know, it's because public religion is on the decline. People are not getting baptized. And so they're not during baptism, during the traditional rite of baptism, three exorcisms are are performed on the person being baptized to cast out the demons that prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls because this is a very fallen world and uh, this is a a wonderful thing and then you get the demons cast out of you and you don't need to worry about this stuff as much anymore. Uh, Well, now people aren't being baptized and the demons are just running amok. This stuff, the Dylan Mulvaney stuff, the transgender stuff, it's just demonic. Think about furries. Have you heard of furries? You know, furries are these people who have this weird sexual fetish where they think that they're basically possessed by the spirits of animals. That's just demons. What do you call, what would you, if you went back in a time machine 500 years and you were talking to ye old Johnny Smith down the street and you said, oh, hi there, Mr. Smith. Yeah, I'm from the future and I'm actually, I'm something called a furry. He says, what's a furry, lad? And I don't know, I don't know why he's Irish. And, and you say, oh, furry. Well, you see, I'm, I am Actually, I know I look like a human, but I'm actually the spirit of an animal, and that's really what animates me. And so I'm really a chipmunk, and that's that's my true spirit. He'd look at you, probably a little wacky, and he'd say, oh, you're possessed by a demon, laddie. You know, go get down to the local priest and get exercised. These people who say 
that not only are they one gender, but they're multiple genders in their heads. We've, we've played this, these clips on the show of people who say, I've got these head mates, these head partners, and they're all these different personalities in my head. So one day I'm a boy, one day I'm a girl, one, depending on who's kind of in control of my body. What do you call that? It's just demons, man. It's just demons. <laughs> like I, and I know that people are going to look at me like I'm crazy when I say that, but w- what is crazier? Because for all of human history, every single place in the world, including in Christendom and every pagan culture everywhere forever, everyone has had some sense that there is not only a physical world, but a spiritual world, and that some spirits are good and some spirits are bad, and the bad spirits are demons, and they do weird stuff to humanity. Okay, Everyone for all of human history has thought that until about five minutes ago in our stupid atheist civilization. And now our explanation for these phenomena is that actually boys can secretly be girls and sometimes people actually are animated by the spirits of chipmunks and that actually if you believe enough in your consciousness and your energy, you can make the universe bend toward your specific will through manifesting, through the secret and the Oprah book club and the, some of the most popular media out there. Which, do, which is crazier? Obviously, the modern stuff is crazier. I, do, it, it, I know that it seems like really simplistic political analysis to say that the cure for these problems is to just go and get baptized. But that is, if people, wh- why did this stuff go away in the Middle Ages? In ancient pagan cultures, you had, you had furries, okay? In ancient pagan cultures, you had something akin to transgenderism and people just feeling that they were possessed by all sorts of spirits. Why did it largely go away throughout Christendom? I know the atheists and the liberals and the rationalists are not going to believe me. It's because people were baptized and because (laughs) the demons were not allowed to run amok. But they are now, and that's very bad, and (laughs) we should strongly discourage it, okay? Dylan Mulvaney, he definitely needs a psychologist, but he, he, more than that even, he, he really needs a priest. Today is Music Monday, baby. And so my producers assure me they've got a a wonderful song for me to listen to, to analyze, because I am a hip-hop maven. The rest of the show continues now. You don't want to miss it. If you're not a member, click the link in the description and join us.